Hello, and welcome to the very first episode of my brand new devlog series. This is the second devlog series that I've started and a brand new project that I'm working on. A few months ago, I was looking around for some split screen games to play on my laptop. Now, laptops work quite well with split screen games. You can just plug them into TVs, connect some controllers, and you basically have a game console. So I decided that split screen FPS would be fun, but I couldn't find any at all. The Halo Master Chief Collection on PC took the split screen out for no apparent reason. And the only split screen FPS's I could find on PC were ones like Screen Peak, which is probably fun, but I was looking for a more traditional game, where you could actually see the other players. A week or so later, I was still pretty angry that I couldn't find any split screen games, but at least there were games like Stick Fight. But later on, I had an idea. I was looking for a new game to make, and I figured I could make a split screen FPS. It would be built like Stick Fight, with the game consisting of quick, goofy rounds in which you start with no weapon on a small stage with three other people, and you quickly run to get a weapon and try to be the last one standing. I realized that this is basically the perfect project for me, because I tend to plan huge projects and then abandon them halfway through. But with this game, I would have to build the basic structure of the game, and menus and stuff, and then the rest of the work on the game would just be creating content like guns, stages, and game modes. This meant that if I grew bored of the game, I could just finish up what I was working on and publish the game right there. Now, I hope I'm explaining this well, but the main thing I'm trying to say is that I'm starting a new devlog. It's using Unity instead of Game Maker Studio. It's 3D, and it's FPS shooter similar to Stick Fight the Game. So I just started off by getting the prototype materials from the asset store on Unity. Yes, they're the same ones that Danny used, but where they were the first that came up for me that were free. I then used a tutorial that, yes, Danny again made to make the basic physics-based FPS movement system. So I just copied down what the tutorial said to do. Then I went back and changed some values, and I went into the code to read and add it to the comments just to get a bit of an understanding of what's actually going on. Okay, so up next is shooting. I got a basic pistol model off of Poly by Google and imported it. Um, where is it? Oh. But for some reason the model looks very different from what it looks like on Poly. Whatever, that doesn't really matter right now. It's a placeholder model anyway. Then I got it to move the player and then rotate with the player. Spicy. Okay, so making it shoot is a bit difficult, but with the help of a five-year-old tutorial, I got it working. Sort of. But here is it actually working. I then went on to Sketchfab and downloaded a new pistol model and imported it. This one actually worked correctly, and now looks pretty decent. So I have the basics of shooting down the game, but it doesn't look good or complete. So I need to add animation to the gun, some muzzle flash, ammo, and reloading. Let's get to work. First off, I just created an animation with the Unity Animator. I went through quite a few iterations, and the final animation will probably be done in Blender or something, but here is a basic kickback animation. Then I went ahead and created a muzzle flash using Unity's particle system. I coded it into the script, then I went through a tutorial on how to make the particles. I'm not completely happy with the colors, but I will continue to fiddle with them until they turn out epic enough for my massive standards. I then added some sound. It isn't final, but I think it's pretty nice. Finally, I added some delayed in-between shots. Now it's a bit more realistic. Not yeah, sure. Uh, the final and most complicated part of this is adding ammo and reloading. First off, I just implemented a basic ammo value. This value starts at 12, and then every time you shoot, it is reduced by 1. Which it reaches 0, you can't shoot anymore, and the gun plays an empty clicking sound effect. So now I have to do the reloading part of this. I started off by making a reloading animation. And by that, I mean I did the Danny method, and just spun the gun around. Okay, so something awful just happened. Unity froze my entire computer, and then after restarting my computer, I realized that the player shooting script had been corrupted. I spent around 30 minutes trying to recover it, but I eventually gave up and was ready to try to reconstruct at least part of it. But then I went through the project files in File Explorer and found a notepad that contained the exact same code of the script. But I realized that I needed to set up some source control just in case that happens again, and I'm not so lucky. Now it's time to make the second player. Or, well, it's sort of time. I need to get a controller input before anything else. Okay, let's get controller input then. I'm sure it's easy and straightforward. Okay, 
So, I finally got controller input working. I had to transition all the scripts from the old input system to the new one because I said so. And so it took forever. And I got this beautiful blob of code, but my input is finally done. Yay, we can get on to the fun part. And now it's time to make the second player, or it's actually time to go back and rework the input parts of the script again to make it simple for me to change up input without having to make different movement scripts for each player. So it's finally time to make that second player. First off, I just made the player into a prefab. Then I made a copy of that prefab, changed the player number to two, and it worked. I also added some amazing post-processing effects to the game. They were actually pretty simple to get in and make it look so much better. Though I might have to turn down some effects. So technically there is combat in the game. You can shoot at each other, but the combat doesn't really work because you don't die. Uh, I mean, uh, uh, game ended when you were shot. Also, I need UI and respawning and scoring in a basic stage. The first thing I did was slowly fumble my way to getting some basic UI. I made an ammo display, but it took around two hours because I couldn't figure out a bug. It turns out that I just assigned the player's body and so that they're down to the script that finds the ammo amount. Whoops. I then took a 3D model of a bullet off of Sketchfab because I have no idea I had a 3D model. I stuck that model onto the bullet and added a trail renderer that renders a pretty yellow trail. Finally, I switched out the old crosshair box for a nice new one. Then I made the gun script assign a tag to a bullet whenever it shoots it so that it tells which player shot it. Then I added a value named health to each player. When the bullet collides with the other player, the player destroys the bullet and also subtracts from health. At first, I couldn't figure out why it wasn't working. Then I realized the bullet was going straight through the other player without registering anything because it was moving too quickly. So I needed to fix that. And the way I fixed that, at least temporarily, changing the collision detection in the rigid body to continuous dynamic instead of just dynamic. Then I stuck it all in a box so it just looks a little bit better. And I also set the font to Roboto, because that's really just better Arial. Well, now that you can get hurt whenever you get shot, the logical next step is literally dying. So I made a bool called dead. Whenever HP is lower than or equal to zero, dead is set to true. And now whenever you're dead, you can't control your body. Disabled freezing rotation on the rigid body. So that if you die while running, you can flip around and stuff. So after a bit of playtesting, I realized that it is really hard to hit the other player. You move quickly and the bullets move too slowly. Plus you can take up to 10 bullets. So I sped up the bullets, increased the bullets damage, and slowed down the player quite a bit. The guns need to be able to be picked up and dropped by the player. It's a very important part of this game. At the beginning of each round you start out with nothing and it's a mad dash to grab the first gun. But I have no idea how to do this. It literally took me nearly a week of accomplishing basically nothing to actually get this to work. It seems so simple, almost a throwaway line. Like, then I made it so you can pick up and drop weapons. But this is by far the hardest and most confusing part of the game I've had to work on so far. Finally, I decided to focus and get it done. And the way I did that... Yeah, it was as simple as that. So the first thing I had to do was fix the shooting. Because I managed to completely screw it up while trying to add weapon dropping. Okay, so it's looking quite nice now. Now I just have to add the gun into a prefab found completely breaking the game. And I'm already further than I got in all of the previous attempts. Next, I have to make it so I can remove that gun without the game breaking. And I removed the gun, and the only real dependency on that gun was the ammo UI. And I just set itself to say empty whenever there is no weapon. Now I need to add a weapon pickup to the game. If you raycast out and hit it from the center of your screen, and also hit right click, then it'll add a prefab of the pistol onto your character. First off, I made a basic object that'll act as the pickup. It's just a pistol model with a rigid body and a mesh collider. Then I stuck a new weapon pickup script on the player's camera. The weapon pickup script sends out a raycast when right click is pressed. And if that raycast hits object on the pickups layer, then it shows a debug log message. So now I added a prefab to be added to the player's character whenever the raycast hits the pickup instead of just sending out a debug message. This works by calling the raycast to pickup and finding a variable on a new script I made that's on the pickup that basically just holds the prefab to be used for the gun. After fixing a few issues with the gun, it actually works. And I took a quick break to set up Visual Studio Code instead of Visual Studio. It's much, much nicer. The next few days were spent ironing out the billions of bugs that turning the weapon into a prefab caused, but now it's time for the final step, adding gun dropping. 
I made it so that whenever you hit F on the keyboard or B on the controller, the gun object will create a pickup and then destroy itself. I tried to get it to fling the pickup away, but I kept making a bunch of bugs so I didn't implement it this to that vlog. Anyway, that's all I have time for this devlog. It actually took place over two and a half weeks, and I like having more time for devlogs. But I still plan on having weekly videos, so every other week I'll do a video that isn't a devlog. And I have some interesting ideas, so stay on the lookout for that. Anyway, thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe, like, and comment. Insert funny joke here. Bye.